Hey guys, I'm Aaron from Finktum Languages, and this video is about why you should use intensive reading when you're starting a new language. Now, in my last video, I talked about why extensive reading might be the single most effective way of learning a new language. But the problem is, you can't do extensive reading when you're just starting. Imagine you don't know any Russian and you pick up crime and punishment for the first time. No matter how long you look at the letters and words in this book, you'll never learn anything because you don't understand what you're reading. It needs to be comprehensible input, meaning you understand what you're reading. And that's where intensive reading comes in. It's a bridge between knowing nothing and extensive reading, which is where you really wanna be in order to make your language learning more effective and more enjoyable. So what is intensive reading? While extensive reading is something you do for enjoyment, intensive reading is a type of studying. It means you're reading a text that's above your current level and you want to study it for complete understanding. If you reach the end of a sentence and you realize you didn't understand what you read, you read it over again and you try to get to the bottom of the confusion. When you encounter a new word you don't know, you look it up. You can do that either with a dictionary by your side, like a physical book, or with Link, which I talked about in my last video about extensive reading. And when you run into a bit of grammar you don't understand, you research it and you try to learn that bit of grammar. When that happens to me, I go straight to Reddit or a language specific forum with people that can help. And it'll be really helpful if you have a teacher or a native speaker that can read through it with you so that they can explain some of the difficult parts and you can ask questions about the sentences and have them explain them in different ways. Uh, and then they can ask you questions in order to make sure that you're understanding and that you're comprehending what's happening in the story and in the sentences that you're reading. So I recommend choosing one short story and reading it every day. At first it'll be hard and slow because you don't really know most of the language in the story, but pretty soon you'll be flying through it because you've become so familiar with the story, you remember all the context. And after that it won't be long till the whole story is memorized and then you move on to the next one. Now one of the big things that helps me when I do intensive reading is using books with pictures, like children's books or graphic novels. And that's because, remember, what we're looking for is comprehensible input. And pictures are a huge help in comprehension. So I'm reading a book in Thai called Malay Kera. And the pictures are really helpful because you get to see what the people look like. You get to see their facial expressions. You see what they're doing. And it gives you a lot of context about what's going on in the story and in the sentences that you're trying to learn. And that brings me to my big announcement, which is that I'm going to release my own line of books later this month. This is the first book in the series, and I'm going to release it in English, Spanish, French, Thai, and Stokipona at first, and hopefully more languages in the near future if the first release is a success. It's a picture book that's targeted towards absolute beginners, but it'll also have a lower intermediate and an upper intermediate section to help you move out of the beginner stage once you understand the first part. It has explanations of difficult vocabulary and there's a question and answer section after the story to help you check your own comprehension. And there will be a free audiobook here on YouTube so you can listen as you read along to help you with your listening skills and your pronunciation skills too if you repeat out loud after the narrator. And I'm gonna release more details about this new book series soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, I hope this video helped you learn more about how to implement comprehensible input and intensive reading into your own language learning routine. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.